Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a downward moving arrow in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to create this really cool downward moving arrow, and it's gonna be helpful if you, you know, do YouTube videos and you're talking about the description, which every YouTuber should be talking about, and you're saying something like, check out, check out the links down in the description below. That's the error I'm going to be talking about. So first thing you want to do is head over and choose an arrow. So I'm here in the annotations tab and then I'm going to click all so I can see all the different kinds of arrows that they offer. Now it doesn't matter what color it is because you can go ahead and change that. So I like this one seems like a robust looking arrow so i'm gonna click on that and drag it down and then i don't want the text on there so i'm just gonna double click on that and then delete it and i want the arrow to face downward so i'm going to hover over not the center part of the arrow but this part where it does green and there's a sort of if you look closely it is an arrow going to the right kind of like a partial recycling sign and you want to just turn it until you get it facing downward. Then I want to change the color so I head over to the top right area annotations and you can see that this is the same color as this and I want to change it to our brand colors which is purple and then the outline I don't want the outline as white I want it just the same color and then it looks like something like this. Really cool looking arrow. Now we need to add the animation. Now you could theoretically add an animation manually, but it will take longer. So I played around with the behaviors, which are already pre-made animations that Camtasia has created. And I used one and I tweaked it and then it worked out perfectly. So first I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit longer and then I'm going to grab the sliding behavior, animated behavior, and then I will place that on. Now if I go ahead and play this, it's going to go like that and that's not a downward moving arrow. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to tweak it, so head over to the right hand side where it says sliding and then you want the direction that it slides not from the left, but from the, the top. So now let's play that after we've done the top. Let's see that. So you can see that it now comes from the top and, but it's doing this fading thing and that's happening during. So the fading is the style for during the arrow, which is basically the middle part. So what we wanna do is change this and we're going to try some different ones. Let's try maybe shifting. So let's play that. Okay, so you can see that it's slightly moving and now we want to tweak this even more. So I want the shift to be really drastic. So I'm going to maximize this and now let's play. So you can see that it is now moving up and down. And if you like this kind of movement, then that's fine. You can keep it as is and then use that. But I think I want to play around with it even more. And you see the, the loop time is at 3.17 seconds. Let's see what happens when we lower that down to, let's say, 2 seconds. Just around there, 1.99. And now let's play it from the beginning. So now it's moving a little bit faster. So if we, if we go extreme and we lower the loop time down to 0 0.10, it's going to go crazy and you'll see what I mean in a second. Now if you want that, 
You can definitely do that, but I don't think I want it to be that crazy. So let's try bringing it up. And you, you just, it's like trial and error. You just got to play around with it. So this is a, a, a that was a faster moving arrow. Maybe um, a little bit slower because before it was at basically two seconds. So something like that. Or I think I did like in this range. Something like that that looks a little bit more free flow. And then you can add some text here on the side. I have my text here in the favorites. All you have to do is click on the star to put it in the favorites. And then I'll put some text here. Check out the links in the description below. So we just got some font right there. And then right here, stretch it out, and then something like that. Now you can slow the arrow down again if you want, and that's in the right hand side in the properties and the behaviors. We can increase it slightly, and then there you go. You have an animated moving arrow. Oh, and I forgot to mention the out portion. If I don't change that, it's going to exit right. Let's just play it to the end here. It's going to just exit right. I mean, if you want to do that, you can, but you can also, you know, have it with the whole theme of the arrow and then change the direction to bottom. And then when it leaves, it's going to leave out the bottom, you know, as the direction of the arrow. So if you are talking about certain things in your videos where you are mentioning the description, you can put this animated arrow in your videos. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course over 70 lectures. If you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, you guys can check out that course down in the description below. I will have a link for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.